And here's what's happening in your news across Nevada. Old plans for a subdivision in Mountain Falls have been renewed by their new owner. The Prump Regional Planning Commission approved a tentative map and 11 street names for a 113 lot subdivision. Under the development agreement between Nye County and Mountain Falls Acquisition Corporation, the project would take 26.85 acres with a gross density of 4.21 lots per acre. William Lyons Homes previously had the subdivision approved by Nye County, but it expired. The new owner, American West Development, has requested approval of the same design. The proposed 113 homes are expected to generate $170,000 in annual property taxes. Nevada is working to become a leading demonstrator location for urban mobility solutions. A summit was held recently which included development of the first pilot projects to launch under an initiative which has an emphasis on mobility ecosystem. The synchronized mobility city demonstrator summit was held over two days in Las Vegas earlier this month. The event offered industry leaders the chance to both see and hear why Las Vegas and the state as a whole offers the perfect environment for a demonstrator city of which Las Vegas Vegas's global connectivity, the state's long history of embracing autonomous technology, and the government's support of emerging and growing industries are key. The Nevada Division of Forestry is currently soliciting pre-proposals for two competitive grant programs, landscape scale restoration and state fire assistance. Nevada's urban and rural ecosystems are continuously threatened by the invasion of non-native species, vegetation diseases, development disturbances, and destructive natural events such as floods and wildfires. Funds may be used to implement restoration treatments that reduce negative ecosystem impacts such as wildfire and noxious weeds and improve or restore urban, rural, forest, and rangeland health, recreational opportunities, water resources, repairing areas, and wildlife habitat. The Nevada Division of Forestry is also seeking pre-proposals for the State Fire Assistant Program that would help cooperators identify and implement hazardous wildlife fuel reduction projects to mitigate community losses from wildfires. Funds may be used for costs associated with implementing on-the-ground hazardous fuel reduction projects, information and education programs relating to wildland urban interface issues, and homeowner and community action projects. Proposed projects must be implemented on state and or private lands located in Nevada. Projects on federal lands are not eligible. For more information, call 775-684-2511. In January, the unemployment rates in Nevada's metropolitan statistical areas saw a slight increase, but decreased on a year-over-year -year basis. The rate in Las Vegas rose to 6.5 percent and is down one percentage point from last year. In the Reno-Sparks area, the rate rose to 6.2 percent, but decreased 1.2 percentage points year-over-year. -year. The Carson City rate is up one percentage point relative to last month at 7.7 percent and declined at 0 0.8 percentage points over the year, as reported previously. The statewide rate for January fell to 6.2%. I'm Deanne O'Donnell. That's your news across Nevada.